And I thought it was the previous Supercross. I know that the control here is absolutely tight. And he said about driving with uh, McGrath. And I'm like, what is he talking about? You don't even get to choose him. But it's a complete different game. Firm, soft. Buttons. I have no idea who is better. Who is not. Ramsey. We're just gonna stick with this one. Yeah, I saw him uh, riding his bike. I was like, wow, that's pretty tight. Let's stick 50 50. Sword in the middle. Send mud, hard track. Manual. No, we're gonna do automatic. Right, just info. Yeah, cool, bro. Alright, let's see. Start the timer. There we go. Timer has commenced. Indoor, outdoor, combined, custom series. Let's do, I don't know, indoors. I really have no idea. Uh, race, standing, standings. Stand. Okay, that's just a number of points. Race. Okay, that's a race. Three laps, week one. It's evening and it's indoors. It doesn't really matter if it's indoors or evenings, right? Okay, we'll see. Whoa, did I get a super start? Okay. I have to get used to this. Can I use D-pad? I can actually use my D-pad. I'm probably gonna use D-pad for this. Okay, the brake is really helpful. To get used to the cornering a bit. I have to stop moving in the corners. A bit sooner then. It's easier to pick up than the last one, but maybe I'm kinda used to the idea of releasing... Whoa, stay straight. Oh, really? I think it's used to the bumpers, why they put bumpers over there.
Alright! <coughs> One out of eight, three laps, first try, first track. Nice. Hola. Mm, just started. Already first place. So, uh, it's something to get used to, but it's easier to pick up than the previous Supercross. In other words, it's a beginner difficulty, so <laughs> that's probably also just easy for me. Hello from India. We no, we have options. That's well, I'm just checking. Opa. Corners are pretty tight to take. Oh wow, I got first place in the last freaking second. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> that was so close! I really want to see the time difference. I really want to see the time difference. It's like a hundredth of a second. Absolutely not more. Oh. <laughs> it is actually eight hundredths of a second. That is so sour! Okay. Somebody's getting kicked off here. This is what I find weird. You can't you can't ride the bumpers or anything else. Or oh, the bumpers are just like slightly inside. 
inside the track. Pretty, uh. I could have changed that. I'm not sure if I can catch up the leaders. Mm, fifth place. First corner was uh, pretty pretty nasty. Hello from Minneapolis. This is the third round of the Supercross series. Three, two, one. Getting the hang of it. Still not perfect, but preemptive stop in the corners. There's uh, back in my fingertips. Instead of using the brake, I'm just releasing gas, tapping it, so it keeps you in control without sliding through uh, through the corner. But strong enough for uh, for you to brake without uh, you know grinding the the walls. <laughs> Week number four. Dallas. Let's save the game. Standing. Let's see with the standing. I got 75 points. All right, I'm way ahead of my competition. Three, two, one. 
Not intended, but... Come on. A choice! At least the uh, announcer isn't calling my name every time, like the previous one. Mike Myers! Yeah. Can I see him? Um, three quarters. Yeah, with pick-up and dergelijke, misschien een uur. om het noorden van de eilanden te gaan. Oh, dat is wel handig, ja. Vaak kunnen ze dan toch kijken voor, uh, voor de deals en kunnen ze die extra kosten uh, elimineren. Dat zou wel heel handig wezen als ze... Uh... Maar uh, ik ga niet naar het noorden van het eiland zitten. Oké. Okay. Go, race nummer 5. Oh, pretty short round. on the menu.
the pairs on the finish line. I won't be so sour losing it just an inch. But even but the computer here is also pretty steady. It's always the number two that's number two. So it's not like it's uh, giving you much choice to actually sometimes be like fifth. Like ah, it's okay. I got enough points. But there are some games where you can have like uh, first place three times, and then it doesn't really matter. In this game, you have to keep performing. Uh oh, oh! I was afraid I was uh, flying off the. Ah, oh. these things should have been just on the outside. There, there's bonus to have these things on the inside, or. Or at least make be able to ride them. Tapping slightly it doesn't really change its course much. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, sharp to the left, okay.
try to knock them knock them off their bikes. I'm so evil. Go straight on track. seconds ahead. Okay, so it's pretty, pretty close. Week number eight. I wonder how many weeks there are in the game. Changing a little bit on um, suspension, a little bit more uh, soft on the edges. Voila! The last time through the finish line, it doesn't matter how you land. As long as you cross over that line, it's all fine. Oh, now it gives me a standing. 
after 10 weeks, I don't know, two, 200 points. I think this maximum, 220. You place first. A special stun track is now available for you to use. Okay. Let's save. You're not gonna tell me it's already the end of the game, is it? Standing, just to be sure, okay. New series. I think I just we just did one cup, right? Do this. I think so. The rest is uh, the rest is only either change the beginner to to uh, amateur or pro, and the other one is 125, 20, 125 cc or 250 cc. We can check, but if it's the same. And of course, there is. Uh, I don't know. We have we have a lot more to do. We have the outdoors. We have the indoors now. Outdoors combined. Let's do them all. I mean, this is really short if it's already the end. So we're gonna do outdoors now. Because you have to do all the tracks like Mario Kart. Oh, outdoors is, is so much more fun. Outdoors also seems to be a lot easier, but maybe it's just this track. Get players used to the outdoor environment. The race today is at Spring Creek Motocross. 
Series Championship. Three, two, one. Oh wow, c c c combo We'll get even with you. Don't you worry. You get to see my tires up your eyes. Outdoors is so much re more relaxing because there's no bumpers around, along the side and you get stuck behind. There we go. Oh, is he really inside the dirt? <coughs> Let's continue. Butters. <laughs> Butters is second to third placed. Standing. How many points? Did you get 25 points per day? That's quite a lot. And 22 points when you're a second. That's not that far off. It's better uh, control than the uh, other one because then if you get second, you get like 4 points less and you number one get that 15. So that's quite a margin. But there, are s there were 8 tracks in the first, uh, first cup. I assume there are also eight outdoor tracks. This is the third round in the national series. Three, two, one. <laughs> Thank you. 
voilà Four. Let's keep going. Go, go, go. It's a scorching hot afternoon here at Steel City. We are about to begin the fourth round for the Motocross Series Championship. Three, two, one. <laughs> So far the motocross games are pretty uh, pretty good. Pretty accurate. And I really like the outdoor scenery. It's not beautiful but it's really it gives you the idea of being outdoors and uh, you can see the mud slinging around. corners in this in in this one oh this goes up and all wow you know what goes up must come down oh Oh yeah! Oh, it would be fun if uh, there is no uh, automatic automatic wall clipping. That you really can actually go out of bound. You'll be flying down the mountain so hard.
Oh yeah, this is an awesome track. Not sure how much harder amateur or pro will be. And 250 cc, but that's just the speed. So that also counts for me. Really, I really believe I'm having a breeze here. But it's any percent. Race number six, six out of eight. And of course we have the classic uh, motocross game, Excite Bike, still left to go. I'll save that one up for later. But uh, if that game is even better, you know, because it has a name reputation, then I'm, I'm very eager to, to get to play it. Because I really doubt you're gonna make like a whole sequel and put the characters in uh, in other games as well, and their tracks in my, like Mario Kart 8. You have this Excite Bike track. If the game itself isn't really good. Rijk goed, schat. Rijk goed. Voilà. Number seven. Seven out of eight. Where are we going to go?
Oh, they're right behind me still. I must say I'm running a little sloppy. Okay. Gonna eat in five to six minutes. Hopefully we can finish this one and the next track just within time. Should be doable. Nice and tight. Final corner. There we go. And then the final track. And then we're going to have a little bit of dinner break. And continue after if there is anything left after. Out of all honesty, I'm not sure. Maybe the combined. Uh, indoor and outdoors offering me different tracks but other than that I don't really see we can do something new Lekker, schijfje erbij is lekker. Eet een ananas eten dan een an naar een ananas staren. <laughs> ananas.
And we're done. Let's see if they give us a standing. Yep, Supercross Season 2000 Champion. Again with maximum amount of points. We'll save it up. New series. One player. We can do the combined. Do the first track of the combined. Still seems like outdoor indoors. I'm not sure if they're gonna use tracks that we already used before. Maybe like four of each, or maybe both both of them combined, eight eight eight. But if the combined track is like partially indoors and partially outdoors, then they are considered new tracks. We're gonna see. We're gonna do this one and then lunch dinner break. Seems like our previous track. Very much, yeah, it looks like our previous track. So they're just gonna reuse tracks and then they put in four of each. Mm. Kinda disappointing that they don't have different tracks for this. Or actually combined in and outdoors. So in fact this is just another cup with a mixture of already existing tracks. Sadly. Oh well. It's a cool game though. Just gonna do this. Maybe when we have the combined done, we can do the 250cc. Let's see if that's any difference. But if it's the same of the... If it's exactly the same tracks, then we're just gonna call it the end. When we're trying to play the game and not replay the game. I can't really find a defined finish of this game on the internet. Like in Mario's in Mario Kart, if you finish the game on 50cc, you have not played the Special Cup. And no credits will be uh, re awarded towards the, the player. So, dinner seems to be ready. We're gonna pause the game right here. Save, and we're gonna progress after dinner break. We'll see you guys in about an hour. Just gonna keep it right here.
What's up? Hey, babes. I'm back. As you notice, it's a different me. I lost something in the past hour. It's uh, the lawnmower went too high. Yeah, can happen. Hey, what's up, Andy? Well, I've already done the um, outdoors and indoors. Uh, this is the combined tracks, and it appears to be the same deal. You got the same tracks, it's just now combined. Now, I'm not sure if it's four on four or all eight combined, but. If it's exactly the same, we're just redoing everything. It's like playing mushroom cup and flower cup, and then you have a cup that has mushroom and flower cup combined. There's nothing really special to it. If that's the case, I don't know. We just have to uh, see and find out. But I'm back. I'm uh, gonna restart the timer. So nice every time I restart the timer it uh, actually zooms in on my uh, web page, my channel. Here we go, race number three. Timer runs so without any further delay let's get going. And it's also a race that we have already done. It's the one with a very high uh, mountain here. Yeah, there we go. It's so good. I really like this track. So it's not a shame of doing it again. Oh, yeah. Well, we are going to have to consider to do the 250cc mode. Oh yeah. There we go, lap one, done. <clears throat> oh, this scenery is so good. Just get a very good feeling about it. This is definitely a game that uh, you wanna redo on the VR you can actually be in the motorcycles helmet oh that will be so cool
That would be crazily good. I'm so hyped about what the VR can do. I already seen some images, it's absolutely crazy. You're still in the beginning of development and uh, try to sharpen up that technology. But thus far the games are looking pretty funny and very uh, innov innovative. Something, really something new to the eye. There we go. Um, well, 5 is really good with the control stick, very precise. Um, but I think since this is just um, a racing game, and that the control stick isn't really necessarily uh, a crucial factor, I think the Oculus Rift will be suf uh, sufficient. Um, but I'm not really sure about the Oculus hardware, how it would look like and um, its capabilities. But what I do know is Vive is excellent with control style. The, the dual stick is so precise, it's crazy. And it's 4K, or at least very high quality image. But it's just bloody expensive. I'm actually considering buying one, but it's just so expensive that it really has to be um, spot on uh, for me to buy and I just don't have the space for it right now. But I'm so eager just, just to try it out, even if I have lack of space. Yeah, the upgrading it to a VR is shouldn't be all that uh, that hard. But I think you with the VR you also need very high quality, and the Nintendo 64 just doesn't have the amount of resolution to represent it. So it's either upscaled, which is okay-ish, I guess. But you also need like the first person view in some games. And this game doesn't have a first person view. So even with VR you can't really simulate this game. Unless they make a VR version of it. But games where you can actually change the camera within the uh, players, uh, within the character itself. VR would be would be a nice addition. It would be a cool stuff to uh, to implement, most definitely. And I think that for that, Oculus Rift is more than enough. Since you don't really have point and click in this game, more like point and point, aim and shoot. I just wonder how uh, the VR actually works with um, with first person shooters, because normally in the game you aim directly in the center of the screen and I think if you move your head um, walking forward would be like in the direction where you're looking at because the character always walks to where you're facing uh, when you press forward so I think there's also um, control issues but You teleport. But what kind of 
let's say I have this box under my N N64. What kind of games can I play with the VR? The games that I play on the Nintendo? Or is it like a separate set that uses the N64's um, uh, hardware? Alright, another outdoor game, outdoor track. Ah, oh, you were, huh? <laughs> and did it work? <laughs> but still, it would... You know, it's... You may be yanking my chains, but still... It's a nice thought that if they would implement it... But the console is too old. Still... Some games... I wouldn't mind having this game in the VR mode. Or... GoldenEye for that matter, GoldenEye VR um, remake. Ooh, that would be nice. That would be so good. You actually can have like um, a building with a bunker bunker layout or archive layout. And you just have to walk literally through that building in a multiplayer session. Oh, jeez, that would be fun. I'll get an RCP90 and just put my hands around the corner. Brain spray. Except the spawn point will be weird. Last lap. I'm way, way out in front. Whoa, look at the lead that I'm having. Oh, yeah, we're done. That's true. Yeah, definitely. I mean, first person is easy to do, it's just a camera angle. <laughs> Alright, the race number five. <clears throat> a race number five, and again an outdoor. I wonder if to combine this all eight of each. We're gonna see. But yeah, in general, uh, I'm really looking forward to play VR games and stream those. Finish every VR game. <laughs> it will be, a, it will be a crazy challenge.
making this game with manual transition. Holy crap. Twelve second lead. Alright, final corner. There we go. Yeah, the, it's, it's the five, it's just too expensive right now. Okay, this is an indoor. Welcome everybody to today's race in Houston. Let's see. Five not expensive. In comparison to other video game consoles, it's pretty pretty nifty. thing is it's still uh, in its prime of development I'm sure it works and it's it looks beautiful Oh, they're right behind me. There's always the next back best thing. But you can stick with uh, the old Nokia. Sure, it works. You can call. You can buy an iPhone 3. Sure, it works. It's just... Uh, developers are continue, continuing as well, and their support is... Uh, dropping from old old consoles and stuff uh oh come on come on come on come on come on come on reset go 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 ah oh, bummer oh yeah sure I'm I'm not gonna get it right now when it's fresh. Definitely not. I mean, I'm still busy with this now anyway.
Yeah, I, com I agree with you on that part. People would, are diving in with the nose in their cell phones all day. Because now it's suddenly interesting. But the other thing is... Uh, you still get to choose whether you want to do it or not. And yeah, that's probably like uh, a bad part of the entire smartphone uh, development. But there are also good things. I mean, right now I can just use Google Maps. and In the old days I just have to uh, print out a picture of the entire route and hopefully I'll make it there. Or I need to use a different device just for the... For the for the tom tom for your car and, and stuff. I remember the first few uh, years that I was working. I always check if I have all my devices, phone, MP3 player, so I can listen to music, uh, my wallet, uh, multiple uh, access uh, key cards. Now it's all just in one device, so it makes life a lot easier. Yeah, I can watch at it all the all day long. But if you're gonna go back to uh, technology just because people are looking at their phones all the day, it's the wrong reason to do it. If those people are only social because they can't be anti-social, then it's within their nature anyway to be. Uh, Distracted for other things. Here we go, 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 go. Week number eight. This could be potential the last week, if not then we are halfway. Almost there, last corner. Of course we hit the finish line. <laughs> well, we've made it. So let's see, is this the final round? 
seems not. It seems it's just another uh, intermediate. Uh, and yep, it continues to week nine, so it's actually combined. So doing indoor and outdoor separately, it's slash a waste of time because this is both of them in one. Actually, I can stop doing this and uh, switch you to 250cc. That's probably the only thing I can do. But I think it's just, uh, again, the same thing over and over again, just a little faster. Basically, we're done with the game. There's just only more of the same right now. Well, we started this, so let's finish this one. Voila! <laughs> oh yeah, and before I forget Andy, I just see something on my screen. There you go, you're resub man! I just see your name under there, and it has sub. Thank you very much to rejoin the team. Much appreciated. Glad you're back. Along with all the others, it's good to have you back on the team. Oh, let's uh, start. Whew, salvaged.
final lap. Number nine, complete. Nine out of sixteen. Oh, number ten actually. So it's number eleven now. Eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifteen, sixteen. So six more races to go. Ale. And we're done with this one too. Too bad we can't change it to one lap, like the previous motocross. Oh, not that far in front. Oh, 
Indoors is a lot harder than outdoors. Computer just way sharper within the walls. Right, two corners ahead. There we go, race number 11 or 12. It's going too fast. Race 13 already, wow. So four more to go. And another outdoor race, awesome. We have a very hot day here at Red Bud. This is the 13th round of the overall series. Three, two, one, gas, go. Hey Bremer, that's going pretty good. It's uh, I have to say it's indeed a better uh, game, as in mechanic-wise, than the normal Supercross. But it's also just completely different in steering. So it's not like it's the same engine and it just handles things better. But uh, here you have outdoor tracks, it looks so cool. Uh, it's somewhat easier to pick up. So yeah, if I would rate this one, it would be a better rating than the other Supercross game. One more lap. However, the the other game is uh, easier, even though it seems to be easy for me here. But in the other game, if you get like first a couple times, uh, your opponent will be. 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th or even worse so it's easier to uh, leap ahead in points here the number 2 is always really number 2 so if you drop the ball one game and it appears to cost you like the 4th or 5th spot eh, you got some catching up to do So that's race number 13. Three more to go. Three more to go and then we consider this game finished. Oh yeah. Many people have watched my Star Fox run. It's to be a too good game for the Rampage but it's so nice, so short. Really, I really enjoyed it. But it was my last run and kind of a late hour, so I can understand many people have missed it.
Did you just do it again, Andy? What? I thought... I thought you... You just restopped again for three months in a row. Ah! Yep, you did! Haha! <laughs> awesome! Ah! Uh, cheers, man! Here's the number two, is always the number two in it. Giggles. Nice! Sweet! I need to change that, uh, I need to change that sub, uh, notification. I, I, I have a better one. Just need to find a very good, uh, GIF for it. An animated, uh, picture. No, it's just a bling. Need to do like a very nice tune behind it as well. Everybody would notice it. Uh, lap two. Whoa. Not too far. Final lap. And we're done! 42 seconds! So this means final race of the 125cc series. Sixteen and final race, he said. Step number two.
Alright, let's see what happens. Season champion. I guess you can't really do much more than that. And it goes back to this screen. Yeah, the final screen is pretty limited in its appearance. Almost had a flawless tournament. One time second place. Yay! Well, there's not really much else I can do here. I do new series, but I've done all the tracks. I've done all the tracks twice, actually. I try 250 CC. Alright, let's see how this goes. We're due to combine directly. Estimately about 40 45 minutes to do this. Let's see if the uh, 250cc is significantly different. But yeah, as I thought, it's pretty much the same, just a little faster. Even the track is the same, I recognize this one. Feels like pretty much the same. There we go. First outdoor.
Bowman. Today is in Indiana. We are about to begin 
Championship Series. Three, two, one. Being tired already. I know it's still early, and we must have had a hard weekend. I feeling I felt tired yesterday and the whole week before that actually for that matter I was just uh, woke up for a couple of hours and I really was like blah tired it's a change of weather condition uh, in Holland man it's crap Switching back to our winter position, winter uh, attitude. Sometimes having fun can be tiring. Yeah, if you're too tired, go back to bed. Get some well earned sleep. We have a great race in store for us here at Motocross 338. I'll work tomorrow in the morning anyway, so I can't really stream that much. I'm gonna finish this game and then we're gonna call it a night. Finish this 250 cc, and we're done with the any percentage. 
We actually did a little bit more than just any percent. I just have to see if there's a different ending if you pick 250cc. If it's, if, if it's the same lame ending, just saying that you're the champion and that's it. Wow, that's quite a disappointment then. Well, we can only find out once we are finished. Voila. <laughs> you can travel first class. Damn. Well, that's something. first class I used to have that choice too for well, years I can just travel first class but I consider first class to be a little boring but he's so quiet and so stiff I like second class Final lap. <laughs> One second class we're we're paying for standing a fucking train. <laughs> <coughs> 
Yeah, that's true. There's there's plenty of spots. Hmm. Yeah, that's very true. I mean, even in rush hour, if it, it's it's gonna go really crazy, the first class is well. 90% of the time com completely free or free enough sometimes they stand in the first place because there's absolutely no free spot left in the rest of the train but that's so situational and I know people that if they cannot play stand in the second play uh, second class carriage they just go to the first class because they know the Conductor is not really going through the train to check tickets because it's just too crowded. So they take advantage of the situation. But yeah, if they can't stand in second place carriage, second class carriage, well, there's no place left to go. So I, in one way, I can't blame them. But most of the time, uh, there's still spots. You just have to look for it. And it's really convenient if you can just go in first class and sit wherever you want. And have the seat next to you free for your suitcase or whatever you're bringing. So that's entirely entirely legit reason. was a nice nice lap yeah true <clears throat> would you get free uh, travel for your work because having first class for free be coming from some source. We are about to begin the ninth round of the overall series. Tandpasta? Really? Krijg je daardoor 3D tanden? <laughs> oh, 3D als in 3 dagen. Oh. Like, give me your money. It's just the same product anyway. Same shit, different name. If they keep improving all these toothpaste stuff commercial, then I wonder how good the toothpaste is actually 20 years ago. Since they make the same commercial, like, oh, this is the best product, your teeth are become. 
Yeah, your teeth is white in a week time and la 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 and it protects you from all the shit you're eating 20 years later. Same story, just even better. Like, sure, dude. <coughs> exactly. Same with washing uh, products. Nu nog witter. Like, hoe wit wil je het hebben? Wil je het doorzichtig maken? You're gonna make black clothing completely white. No paint required. Just our bullshit. I mean, I'm not really sure why they make even better uh, washing products. You always see in the commercials that they're that the children are playing outside and mud is coming everywhere. I'm like, wait, it's 2017. Kids do no no longer play outside, so why bother? Alright, good point. So it's a 1-1. One, one. Wait, if they play video games, they don't eat. Ha! Got you back. It's dinner time! Almost ready with the boss, mom! Press pause! There is no pause on online gaming! <laughs> exactly! No one's getting dirty clothes while looking at their phones! <laughs> Race number 11, we're almost done with this game. Almost. <gasps> come on, come on, come on. We're gonna do a superstar. Then we're gonna press gas right now. I wanna see what happens. I wanna see these guys completely flip over. Like, pfft. Let's get this close dirty. Oh. Nothing really happened. Wow, is he drunk or something? Or is that my ghost from last race? That would be nice. Computers that are actually your own compilation of your own ghosts. And then the races will become harder and harder and harder every time. <gasps> that would be a sweet thing to do. All I need is a box to plug underneath my N64 to do that. Ani, mag ik voor jou wat drinken? Anything. Extra sterke bak leut. Koffie. Koffie. Sterke bak koffie. Oh. 
Oh no 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 no! Oh, I'm far far ahead. What am I worrying anyway? Whee! Voila! You need more money to fix your knees. Right, five more tracks. Oh, by the way, Andy, uh, I mentioned, I think before you got in the channel, that I got a new controller. It's, uh,. The stick itself from the white controller is like um, some new upgrade from the original N64. And then yesterday I got a, a modded uh, N64 stick. And this guy said that I should just try it out. And it's just as smooth as the new technology controller styles. But. Uh, the calibration is better so it's less sensitive on uh, FPS you can finally aim and it's actually so good it's not exactly like the N64 but it's so good I played uh, GoldenEye with, uh, with my roommate yesterday and oh my god he stood no chance absolutely no chance It was, I actually felt bad <laughs> for butchering him. It was really a slaughter fest, but the controller was just so much better, so good. Really made me feel back in the old days when I played GoldenEye. Around the corner, poof, one shot. That's not cheating, it's just recalibration. It's not that I can do more. <laughs> and then I first game of this challenge, after I get the new uh, upgrade, I play with my D-pad. Because it's, it's better on the D-pad, this game. <coughs> no. Last corner coming up. But yeah, I very much recommend uh, everybody to, to get one of these. I'll ask uh, my friend to, uh, to make a couple. It's just too good to be true. Four more. Thank you. <laughs> uh, it's, then it's hard to get a... Uh... Which consoles do you have, Andy? Smartphone? <laughs> What console do you play games? 
Or are you one of those Twitch lurkers that don't play games themselves but just watch? Is the computer ever going to finish? 21 seconds ahead. Holy cow. Voila! You have Game Boy, DS, NES, SNES, PS1, 2, 3, 4. Oh, you're a PlayStation kind of guy. <laughs> well. <laughs> I got about uh, 303 games on the N64. And I played them only once. Well, not all of them. But some of them I play only once. So, three more? Yeah, three more. Race number 14. What was your very first game? And on which console was it? Like, I think your the first game you have was a PlayStation 1, maybe? Bleh. Doesn't count. I used to rent a lot of games. And then comes, then came the Nintendo competition. And then si ever since that time, I haven't bought that many games up to the point of uh, PC. I used to win all the games, just rent the games, and then play uh, competition, earn like a thousand euros, and then ta da! I can buy all shit ton of new games usually have a hard time actually selecting the game because I had no clue which game to buy
Voila. Game board for a den and S. Huh. for the game board. I can remember uh, when I first my, uh, got my first prize on the tournament. Um, I could have picked a couple games. And they said, do you have the game Tetris? And I said, no, I don't. And then the director of Nintendo of the Netherlands said, well, that's unacceptable. He just gave me a copy of the game. Here, get it. You, every game you should get Tetris. I was like, whoa, that's easy. Then when when I got to uh, uh, to America to the World Championship uh, 1994, um, they were wondering if I had a Game Boy, and I said no, I don't have a Game Boy. And I got a Game Boy with Tetris and Wario World or Wario Land. And because the whole Game Boy thing is like kind of new to me, I kind of forgot to turn it off, at the sound off, but then the batteries were, were dead in no time. Because I didn't thought the game would be safe or something. I'm not sure if there was a safe state in, uh, in those days. So in the plane I was just playing the game and well I kind of fell asleep or something and before you know it it's daytime you get off and then you're in your hotel and like oh wait my Game Boy's off oh wait my battery's empty too <laughs> too easy. Yeah, but there had to be a safe option. Alright, final race of the 250cc. After this, I can only make the computer, uh, computer harder. So after this race we've completed more than any percent. It's finishing on the 25. Should be more than enough. Well because it's a cool game I'll decide, ah why not. And then I've played 48 tracks. Oh, youch. Every track I've played three times then.
Oh, headshot! Oh. Nice! Surprise, motherfucker! And there we go. Let's see what happens. Yay, same screen. No credits. No. Maximum amount of points. Lost nothing. Well, all we can do is do a new series. all I can do but there's nothing much I can show you in the game one player 250 CC there's nothing really really much I can do now so we're finished the game in two hours 39 and 24 and I've showed you way more than uh, than any percentage Let's see. GG, that's for sure. Racing in 239.24. Completed on the 17th of September. All right. So, what game shall we do next? Next, as in tomorrow. Let's see, the progression is in the link. Let's see. Preferably a racing game. Put another one in blue. Chopper attack, we're gonna put that one in blue as well. It's, the game is just too good to do too early. At least I really like it. Ooh, our choice. We can do uh, F1 World Grand Prix. Get it over with. We got the uh, other one. We got two of them done. We can do that one and Formula One pole position. Big dent in this racing sim uh, racing scene right now. Racing is now for 32% done. Well, we got 55 racing games, and 87 sport games. Dang, that's a lot. Alright guys, that's it for today. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And we're gonna stream tomorrow for a brand new racing game. Uh, I'm not sure which one, but you'll soon find out as I go live. 
Have a nice evening, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night.